right, so you can see I've got um, this camera rubber banded now. Uh, I've just got this rubber band right here on the bottom, um, and it is around the whole frame. I put it on before I put these little uh, pylon spacer, nylon spacers on there, um, and those, as you can see, just screw on from the top um, and bottom. And then I've got the battery here, rubber banded, with two rubber bands that include about five of them, so you got plenty. Uh, if you lose a couple also, you got you just string it around uh, the little clip side on that, and then same on the other side, I just did two. Um, and I'm also going to uh, string the antenna under uh, one of these rubber bands also, um, just to keep it safe, just like that. Uh, keep that out of the way of the propeller so it does not snap or uh, get cut off. Uh, there's also some little non-stick slips that are included um, that are put under there. Uh, I put under there so the battery doesn't slip when you bump into things and crash. I've already tested this guy out. It is super fun, so I'm going to show you how it flies and then show you a little FPV feed. Um, and that will be the end of this flight test series, uh, last in the series. If you want to know how to build this thing um, or how to get the electronics working, click the link uh, below uh, to check those out. All right, let's get this thing flying. All right, so you can see here, and you want to be careful if you haven't done, I would not put the propellers on until you've tested that the motors do not turn on when you plug this up because that can be really scary. Uh, also, this balance charger cord right there doesn't seem to get in the way, so I just leave that. Uh, but you're just going to plug this guy up. And you want to make sure your receiver is on when you do this. Plug that up. You'll see all the LEDs turn on in there. you got the camera, uh, lights, as well as the receiver board uh, and the, F the F3 flight controller board. So let's get this thing flying. All right, so you can see when I arm it, it spins up nicely there, comes really nice. Uh, when it takes off, very smooth. I have it in auto level mode right now. Uh, you could also change it with the tutorials I have to be on horizon mode or full rate mode. Uh, so you can see it really gets going. You can see it goes extremely fast, and we'll give you a little FPV feed here in a second. Um, but forward, backwards, left, right, full control, um, and you can do auto level, acro, air mode, rate mode, whatever you want. Uh, again, see my tutorial video. Really, just feels really nice. And you can hear it's not working too hard. Sometimes these brushed motors uh, end up working really difficult, uh, but this one seems to be doing pretty good. You also are going to want to make sure that your motors are on the same plane, or you could have a little bit of humming. I'm hearing a little bit of that right now. I'm going to check that out. So I don't really want to test flips inside, um, but this does have full rate mode, as you can see. Um, the frame does hold up very well. Um, if it does crash, it's got some motor protection. It looks really cool with the LEDs inside, too. Got a nice little mounting spot for all the components. Really a nice drone. Flies really steady, really fast as you can tell. Really fun. All right, so let's check out some FPV feed. So obviously the whole fun of this thing is the FPV and you really do just feel like a mosquito. This thing's got a full 120 degree angle, uh, so you really have a wide view for uh, filming. And I was a little bit worried um, that this drone would uh, the propellers would get in the way, uh, but really you can tell when it gets spinning, you can't even really tell uh, that they're there. You can tell really high maneuverability, really easy to fly. Uh, if you're a beginner and you're just flying one of these, this uh, self-leveling mode makes it really nice to fly. Again, you really do feel just like a mosquito. So thanks for watching guys, this has been a review on the Cheerston uh, 117CX117 drone um, FPV, super fun as you can tell, little tiny cam comes fully included, uh, I've now made an awesome tutorial, it's very easy to build, uh, nice battery life honestly, uh, very nice two cell battery, very powerful for the size, huge brushed, huge brushed motors. Um, and very nice FPV camera. 600 TV lines is actually, I was very surprised at the quality of this and the angle is outstanding. Really fun, feels like you're just a tiny little mosquito flying around. Uh, as you can see in my garage, flying around really fun. Um, you can go through some really small obstacles uh, just like you were a bug. So honestly, if you have never tried this, get yourself a setup, check this out. Link in description, you're really gonna wanna check that. Click the link in description, you're gonna wanna check this out. Really great drone, really great company from Gearbest um, and a really great uh, time, so again, Cheerston CX117, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again in another video.